currently there, there are no um, harmonized guidelines or um, guidance on the diagnosis and management of patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. Um, the Europeans published a document in 2014, and there have been some papers published on suggested algorithms and ways to approach this, but nothing that's been collectively embraced by the overall lipid and cardiovascular community. And, and because this, this condition is so rare, it's something that really I think is probably beyond the typical um, um, site of organizations such as, you know, the American Heart Association or the American College of Cardiology. And, and I would think that, that recommendations from groups such as the National Lipid Association um, uh, hopefully will be forthcoming and, and uh, we can look to them in the future um, for guidance in a, with a condition like this. Um, the National Lipid Association comes out with position statements all the time, um, but, but because this field is evolving rather rapidly, I, I think you do have to be cautious about establishing um, recommendations that could change by the time a document is published. And so I, I think that may be one of the reasons that, that groups have been hesitant to opine in this space, um, given the rapid evolution of treatment paradigms. Uh, I, I will tell you that there's been data published and presented recently um, that's extremely intriguing, uh, looking not just at treatment of homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, but potentially, potentially curative technologies. And, and I'm talking now about um, interventions that are several years away, but, but gene editing, um, looking at, at concepts such as CRISPR-Cas9 technology to modify the genome in a way that cholesterol is, is lowered over the lifetime and not just while you continue to stay on a medication. So, so there's a lot happening in the space. And, and uh, certainly those of us who see these patients, I, I would tell you are aware of all the interventions and probably collectively are managing these patients in very much the same way. Um, and, and guidance in this space, I, I think certainly would be welcomed by everyone. Thank you.